Hello, drunken peasants. This is my video application for uh, the Drunken Peasants talent show. So I'd like to share you something that I, would, I think you, you and me share a lot is our love of Star Trek. My dad, who was a longtime member of Toastmasters, I don't know if you've heard of it, is a club where people practice public speaking in a club, women and men together, of the, the captains that are listed here from Star Trek. Entertain this is what leads our highlights of best speakers uh, in the Star Trek Captain universe. Entertain a flair for the dramatic. Captain Kirk, USS Enterprise. Watch Captain Kirk emphasize a situation he believes in. He huffs. He puffs. He uses exaggerated motions. His face contorts. Long-time Trekkies mimic him and make fun of his dramatizations. But the last laugh is on those who are boring presenters. Captain Kirk is a great example of a speaker whose message is felt as well as heard. If we put half of his dramatic performance into our delivery, we will be engaging presenters. We will be watched and remembered. Pardon me while I sip my coffee. Next one is engage, engage your audience. Captain Picard, USS Enterprise. Captain Picard, in the matter of a Shakespearean actor, which Patrick Stewart, who portrays the captain, really is, engages his audience with his commanding voice and intense, no-nonsense style. He gains audiences' trust and then moves them to engage. We want audiences to remember our message or take action when they leave our presentation. The best way to ensure this is to capture their attention at the beginning. Keep them involved throughout have them buy into the message or action and develop an action plan to implement once they leave. This is done through group exercises, note taking, presenting the audience with a challenge to carry out once they leave or offering a follow-up consultation after the program. The next on the list is uh, Captain Cisco. Seek action or commitment. Make it so. Captain Sisko from DS9 Space Station. Don't just get the audience to nod their heads and agree. Get them to create a plan of action and carry it out. Provide resources for making it so. <coughs> this is a good opportunity for future business, coaching, follow-up seminars and presentations, product sales as well. Making it so provides an opportunity to empower the audience to take action or affect change. Captain Janeway from USS Voyager. This too shall pass. You will return to the Alpha Quadrant someday. The crew of the USS Voyager is lost in space on a perpetual mission to get back to the Alpha Quadrant and Earth, quote, our brackets, home. They maintain their spirits with the belief instilled by their captain that they will get home someday. No matter how well we prepare our presentations, sometime, somewhere, we will encounter that moment where we just want to sink into the floor and disappear. It may be mal malfunctioning equipment, losing our material, forgetting our content, encountering a disruptive audience member or some other quote-unquote war story. The best way to get through a difficult situation is to keep in mind that it too will pass. We will survive and we will learn from the situation so that we can better handle it or prevent it the next time. That was from page uh, four from the magazine, uh, to The Toastmaster. If you want a copy, I'll send you a copy in PDF format, uh, Drunken Peasants, for your own personal reference. Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate to be, uh, it would be a great pleasure being at least a guest host, or if, barring that, if I could even be a perhaps an announcer, or helping you um, narrate some commercials. Take some time to watch this video and critique it. And I'm very much, uh, very much open to roasting uh, as long as it's lighthearted and fun. Roast me, guys. Roast me. All right. Have a good time. Keep the laugh. Keep up the laughs and make us feel good. We need it right now more than ever. Thanks.